Well, here we are, January 31st, 2016. And once again, I'm revamping my layout. I'm making it larger. And one of the things about this layout, it's called Miami by Foley Woodworks out of uh, Massachusetts. It's the most fantastic piece of uh, work that I've ever seen. You put it together like an erector set. All you need is two screwdrivers, a Phillips and a straight blade. And as you can see, I've made it wider. It is now six feet all the way across. With the addition of uh, the 12 inches that I put onto it, I can do away with these dog legs, uh, which uh, even though uh, they're standard uh, radius track, 41 inches, when it whips back and forth like it does to get around the curb, things want to, especially on the big engines like the 400E and the 392, they want to derail. So I've put this extension on, which gives me a much more sweeping curve. And as you can see, it will do away with that, uh, that dog leg and uh, go right up there and be a, a full, nice 72 inch radius. And I've also went over here and made this a little wider. I try to keep at least two feet. The, the minimum amount between the walls is, is uh, 21 inches. I can still get through. A fat person probably couldn't. I've extended it here. So uh, this will all have a nice general uh, and gradual sweep. I'll also have more room out there in the center to put accessories and uh, perhaps uh, try some switches and uh, uh, maybe some uh, uh, buildings and I'm also thinking about trying to put an elevated but uh, uh, I haven't yet decided. I've moved all my stuff to the back. I've changed my shelving around. That's a wall of standard gauge on narrower shelving so it doesn't stick out so far and you catch it when you walk by. That's, that was a problem I was having with the original shelving and of course this shelving is, has maintained, just stayed the same. And uh, uh, most of this is all original, although I have to tell you, Mike's Train House makes billboard reefers in standard gauge that are just absolutely outstanding. Uh, just, just the graphics on them just blows your mind, so I, I do have some of that stuff. But uh, it's all coming along real well. Changing the shelving over here. Going to have some more... Uh, some more shelving here. It will only project out four and a half inches, so that, that leaves me more room to walk around. The only downside is I can now no longer close the door, so I've got one of two choices. Leave it like it is, or get a contractor out here, pull off the trim, cut out the jam, and turn it 180 degrees, which, believe it or not, is a simple process. You cut the nails uh, off in the frame and you pull the frame out and rotate it, you could probably have it done in an hour and a half. It isn't going to destroy the, the plasterboard or anything like that. There, there would be, there'd be no problem with it. So I have to think long and hard as to whether or not I want to do that. It can be done. I don't know if I want to spend the money. But uh, that's how it's going. And uh, of course I'm busy working on stuff too. My uh, my workbench is full of things. I've already completed two engines and I'm working on a third, an American Flyer standard gig. So uh, I'm looking forward to getting that uh, up and running. I've got new wheels and uh, um, ready to mount them, new axles. It's uh, It should be a nice uh, smooth running unit. And, and uh, I, my guns are getting a smaller and smaller space all the time. The, the trains are taking over, I'm afraid. So that's how we're standing now in 2016.